Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So the Umbala map is now available and players are excited to grinding at the new monsters on the new map. But players quickly realize that although the Umbala monsters are not particularly hard to kill, but some are especially tricky to kill. One of them is the Dryad monster. The Dryad drop quite valuable card. Dryad card is a weapon card. It has final physical penetration stat. So the stat does appeal to some players, but why are not many players grinding at a Dryad monster. One may say the Umbala map had just opened and players are still level 110 and in level penalty because the Dryad monster have a rather high level at level 115. That's not quite a convincing reason because players will grind at level penalty nonetheless for cards. Well, one solid reason players that had experienced it will agree on is that the Dryad monster have a reflex skill. When Dryad activates its reflex skill, it sent most of the players dead on the ground, reflected by their own damage. So in this video, I'm going to talk more on that. How to counter the Dryad reflex skill. One suggestion that players suggest is to have more life steal. With having more life steal, it is to expect that you can heal yourself more when your damage is reflected, resulting in less damage afflicted. However, this does not work. Let me show you. So this is how much my normal attack on the dryad and the life steal that I got from the attack. Next I changed the shadow equipment skill to improve concentration 2 skill to get an extra 3.75% of life steal. And now let's test it again. The life steal value is still the same as to the previous value. The additional life steal that I got from the shadow equipment do not affect the life steal value. Why is that so? To know why the life steal value do not change, you can get the information here at the start details. When you click on the life steal start, it said here in PvE mode, only 10% of this percentage of damage will be converted. So here I have 60% life steal. Doesn't matter if I have a lot more life steal than this for PvE, only 10% life steal will be considered and be converted from your damage. So adding more life steal will not give you more life steal value for PvE. Now next, I have this question that if we can't increase the lifesteal value, can we reduce the reflect damage instead? It doesn't take long for me to figure out how. I have an idea and I did a task and the reflected damage is proven to be reduced. So here is how you can reduce the reflect damage. First of all, think of the reflect damage as just a normal active skill damage from the dryad monster. To increase our damage to monster, we usually get attribute that will increase the damage to the target. For example, the dryad is an earth plant and medium-sized monster. To increase our damage to Dryad, we will use fire element to boost the damage. To increase the damage further, you will get size multiplier, increase damage to medium-sized monster, and the damage will be greatly increased. And finally, which not many players will do, is to tag on the third element, the monster race. Dryad is a plant race monster, so getting race damage multiplier, increase damage to plant attribute, will increase your damage to Dryad even more. So conversely, if you want to lessen the damage from Dryad, you need to get the counter attribute, which are damage reduction from Earth element damage reduction from medium size and damage reduction from plant attribute. Do we have this reduction attribute? After looking around, I found three cards that have this specific stat. The first one is the mark card. The mark card reduces the damage from earth attribute monster by 10%. So will this be effective to reduce the dryad reflect damage? Let's test it. First, I am going to test the reflect damage without the mark card. This is the reflected damage with without the mark card. Next, let's equip the mark card. So now I have 10% damage reduction from earth attribute monster. The dryad is an earth attribute monster. So let's test it. This is the reflected damage with the mark card. Notice that the damage is actually reduced by about 12%. Next, I have the card to reduce the damage from plant monster. And that card is the oak zombie card. Equip the oak zombie card and let's test it. 
the reflected damage is reduced by another 12% that is great but we have one more card next I have the Agira card the Agira card reduced the damage from medium sized monster by 10% now if the mark card is effective to reduce the reflected damage from dryad the Agira card can definitely reduce the reflected damage as well well let's just test it the reflected damage is further reduced by another 11% to a total of 35% damage reduction from 45,000 reflected damage to 32,000 reflected damage unfortunately the mark Agira and Oak Zombie card is not an elite card so I can't use it on the elite card slot now is there other card that can reduce the reflect damage further assuming that the reflect damage is just a normal active skill damage from dryad does it mean that the physical defense stat can lower down the damage so here I have Tara frog card that have 7% final physical defense let's see if physical defense can lower down the reflect damage the reflected damage value didn't change the physical defense is not effective on lowering down the reflected damage next I have one more card that I want to test since the physical defense stat can't lower the reflected damage here I have the slime tensor ranga card that have 4% final physical damage reduction will the reflected damage reduce with this card the reflected damage values stay the same. The damage reduction card also is not effective on lowering down the reflected damage. So looks like only the Mark, Agra, and Oak Zombie card that have the start to reduce the damage from Earth, Medium, and Plant Monster can reduce the reflected damage. So the final test, will these three cards effectively avoid my Ranger from dying while AFK grinding at Dryad? I left my Ranger AFK at Dryad. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I still die. The longest that I managed to leave the ranger without dying is about an hour. When the dryad reflex skill is on, the reflected damage is not enough to kill my ranger. It only kill my ranger if the next dryad also activate the reflex skill, which is rare, but it does happen. The HP potion is still in cooldown and it cannot give the needed HP recovery. So I guess in this situation, the physical defense stat cannot help to reduce the reflected damage the other alternative is to have a lot of hp it also help if there is another person that can heal you or you have skill that can absorb the reflect damage although i am not entirely successful to totally counter the dryad reflect damage but maybe this can help you to somehow have an idea on how to counter the dryad reflect damage and if you have other ways on countering the dryad reflect skill please share it at the comment section below Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.